Welcome back, everybody. Did we lose anybody not here? I guess we're okay. Peggy, so Kevin is, and Gail is that a away. picture of you as a young person in the pic in, in your background? Oh my god, you don't recognize that picture? Nope. That's very famous. It's French, I believe. It's, it's George's mother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, George. Is George a happy dog now, Peggy? He's happy. He was happy. Um, he's he's been kind of I don't know since I haven't taken him to doggy daycare in a week. He's oh, that's of, right because he retired. Oh, maybe maybe he doesn't like you being he's making home. friends. <laughs> well, he, he seems apparently. to. I thought he'd be really crazy and energetic and want to go to daycare and stuff. And he's just kind of slowed <laughs> down and takes a lot more naps. So that's what I'm doing too. Oh, I'm just happy to have cool. you home. You know, the best thing about retirement is you go have a nice cup of coffee in the morning on the front deck and you don't have to go anyplace. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. great. You can change your mind about your day. Like, yeah. And time. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to figure out what it is that Rob just, I mean, that uh, Carl just sent us. It was my understanding that there'd be no math. <laughs> I said there'd be no Back checking. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I put this in the wrong game. Oh well, I I can copy and paste. Okay. So, um, we have four teams, and the team number one, which will no longer be named team number one, unless they want to be named team number one. I guess. We're number one. We're number <laughs> one. <laughs> Where did, where did they just go? God, I'm copying and pasting. Oh, there it is. All right, Carolyn, Jamie, Lee, and Peggy. You're mute. You're on mute. You're muted. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. It's on the in chat. Oh, is it in chat? Yeah. The cute baby tight hippo. The cute baby tight hippo looks like a sourdough loaf. That's because his parents were bred in captivity. <laughs> Get it? Yes. Bread and oh, that is so corny. Bread, that's, that's very funny. Is it corn that's, bread? That's, that's, that's yeah, worthy of it. Mudang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jane, Janine, Rob, and Vincent. Uh, can you do that one? Paste. Probably not. No team name because we can't make decisions <laughs> today. Wah, wah. Because yeah. because Janine was told not to, so we're just going along with it. Sure. They're showing support. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Janine can't make decisions when she's playing trivia. That should be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, she can only make trivial decisions. Oh, 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 Jim. Uh, I'm glad uh, you're not uh, my team tonight. <laughs> okay. Jim, Faith, Romero, Wendy, and Gail. Categorize this. Oh, wow. Is that a middle finger? I don't get yep. it. Yeah. I don't get What's it. I don't know. Romero just decided to put an emoji in there as an executive decision. Somebody no realized there's nobody on our team that's doing a category. So. Oh, yeah. Well, Gail's on her way. Okay. So uh, I don't get the categories. What is, is that some reference? Because we realized nobody <laughs> was categorized. Oh, cater category. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah. Gail's uh -huh. going to the category tonight. She's on her way. Kevin, Avi, get Carl, and Ron. Uh, the rules were you weren't going to fact check team four. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the wrong team. Or I'm on the right team. You are you're on team four, Kevin. Okay, you're doing that's right. Category team. tonight. So you're yep. on, yeah, because we have only four teams. So you're just on that's that fine. Team. Kevin, Avi, Carl, and Ron. I think that's the meme of the week, Carl. I've seen that everywhere. Yeah. The rules oh. were that you weren't going to fact check? Everywhere. <laughs> yep. Okay. Humans are interesting. Okay, so here we are in game number 
36. Ooh, I haven't, that, that was pretty good. I realized yesterday that I went from waking up in the morning to going to sleep at night and I had spoken to no one. <laughs> Aww. And don't feel sorry for me. It was fine. I mean, I had long conversations with myself and the cats, but it just dawned on me that <laughs> I hadn't. Cats count. And I had, I had right. lots of conversations over email and messaging and stuff. I mean, I, I, I was social, but I just thought, I didn't even go to the store. I didn't leave the house. I didn't talk to anybody. The phone, I don't answer the phone. So why would I talk on the phone? But you know, anyway, so um, we have the cute baby Thai hippo looks like a sourdough loaf. That's because his parents were bred in captivity. Versus no team name because we can't make decisions today. Versus categorize this. Versus the rules were that you weren't going to fact check team for. So who will it be? Who on October 3rd? Who? Who? Will be the winner tonight of game number 236. We'll find out, won't we? We will know. We will know soon. So I, hard to hear. I didn't want one. to debate anybody. I'm no good at that stuff. I'd be like, uh-uh. <laughs> anyway. So leading off tonight is Miss Peggy, Miss Retired Peggy. Too bad yeah. a requirement song for you. Happy I don't know. I had to wake up to come here tonight, you know. So <laughs> my fourth nap of the day. Um, I am doing something weird and different tonight. I'm going to show a PowerPoint first. And I'm going to show you a picture and you have to name it. And this is all about desserts. Oh. Oh. I show... So are you going to share this file with us? I so will. We get... I see it. So oh, we get, her, so we get our guest desserts. Shot. I'm going to go through it, and then you're going to get it, and you yeah. can talk about it in your rooms. Okay. okay. And I'll go through and talk to oh, everyone. Oh, man, that makes me hungry. Look at that. That's mm. what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to drive you all crazy mm. with food, food. Okay, number one. You're going to have to name it, not just, like, describe it. So there's a name for every one of these things, and it's not just, like, cake or pie. Plain okay. white cake. Oh, that's yummy. Oh. I know what that is. Are you telling oh. us what it's in it, or we're not supposed to know? No, you just have to recognize it by how it looks. Okay. I, I guess we, we should all mute just, uh, so we don't. Yeah, I was going to say, can we mute? Can somebody? Can, I could probably mute, but I have to find the damn button. Thank you. Am oh, I muted? I'm just going to say, yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay. muted. No, you didn't mute. You didn't mute anybody. I didn't get muted. I didn't. Uh, never mind. Just everybody. Don't say what it is. So don't is, say what it is out loud. I, I don't have the uh, powers. How come I thought you did that for all the I people? Did. Well, I guess I could mute. Did I get muted? No. Thank you. Okay. Rob, you have the yeah. powers. No, I just, don't. Yes, you do. Not anywhere that I can see. Let me expand my screen. Oh, yes. I love how Zoom decides to hide certain tools and not other ones. Yeah, I know. I don't know where my tools went either. All right. Okay, I'm going to mute everybody. Unmute yourself, Peggy, after I do it. Crap, I can't find it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not muted. I wouldn't brush my teeth. Okay. Okay, that's me. number one. Oh, and that won't let me do this. That's great. That's great. Number two, this isn't just a pie. It's a particular kind of thing with an A. Number three, not just a square chunk of cow fat. It has a name. Number four is that. It has a name too. Ooh. Number five, not just round cow fat. Number six has a name. It's on the box, but who can read it? Maybe some of you can. Number seven. Wow, look at that. Sorry. George wants some. George wants some. George Ooh. wants whatever's on the screen. That looks good. Um, that's eight. That's nine. Not just pie. And that's 10, two versions of the same thing, not just cake. Oh, man. How do you choose? 
All right, now I have to figure out how to give it to you. Hang on. And the slideshow, press swipe forward to exit. Okay, I have to get out of this thing, don't I? Oh, now I can't even get out. Hang on. I need to do this. So can you set it up so that we can all pull pull all of those up as we? So That's what I'm doing video. now. Oh, okay. She's a clever woman. Her brain yeah. is still working, even though she's retired now. I'm not working at all. <laughs> oh no, I ain't. Okay, this is going to go to not just Jane. We want to go to everyone. Why do I have it set up for Jane? Meeting group chat. That's the whole thing, right? Yep. Yeah. Everyone. Right. Meeting group, whatever that is. Okay. Oh, here comes um, Gail. Somebody has to try to open it and make sure it works. Ah, uh, okay. Looks okay, okay to me. Look, looks good. You can see all those desserts again. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Okay. Oh, looks good. Oh. Okay. Breakout rooms under okay. more. Hey, Gail. Okay. We're, so we're I just going to our breakout rooms. Oh, you'll, you'll see the visual clues in your breakout room. It's, it's a pretty it's, easy it's, night for me. I did oh, this. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping Karen would be here because I know Karen will know all of them. I just gained 10 yeah, pounds. I Karen's having a rough time right now. I understand. I'm safe. I'm safe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got to put you guys in your breakout rooms. So, Kevin, you're in four. Yep. And Gail, you're in three. And I'm going to go to one. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Enjoy your dessert. Okay. okay. Number one, I don't know. Anybody know what that is? What, what is that called? Pinafore? Well, what is that number one called? Um, Pinafore, Panafore. They look like a cinnamon little rolls that are it's like French dessert. donut holes put in a Christmas tree. Oh, I saw it on a, a cooking show. It's pen of, it's a French. Pen of, oh no. Pen of trois, pen of four. Is everybody there? Yeah, oh, we're here. Oh, yeah. they're the mic the mics are they're Lee muted. And Carolyn are muted. They're muted. They're probably screaming the answer to us. <laughs> Carolyn, uh -huh. you're so muted. I love her. Carolyn's little earring. Huh? <laughs> Am I muted now? No. no, no you're fine. Okay. okay. So yeah. petite fours are small cakes. Yes. I don't think that's it. You don't think that's it? Um, God, what is it called? I did, I did, so recently. Well, on why did I lose it? God bless is that me. like honey or something and it's supposed to be woven around it or, or some kind of string? No, it's 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 a these strings of, of, of sugar. Mm. It's a French. I guess we'll come back to it. I don't have the image for number two, though. Okay, number two is... Does that... someone have the image? I, I have the answer. Pie? Oh, you don't have... Hey, can someone share them? Because I, I lost it again. Yeah. Oh, is that rhubarb pie? No. Isn't it pecan? I think it's pecan. Oh, so I don't have an image. I'm going, I'm going. Can you post an image? Yeah, here we go. Yay. Yay. I think it's pecan pie, but I could be wrong. I think that's pecan. Those look like little fingers that are actually reaching over, doesn't it? Let me see if I can make this bigger. It's pecan pie. There it goes. Yeah, I think it's pecan. Or it's somebody's finger going through and <laughs> oh. nail. See? Well, I think it's, I, like I, I agree pie. with pecan because those are definitely sliced. Yeah. On the pie on the left. But that's, those are almonds. Oh. That pecan. Those are almonds, sliced almonds. Or See, is it a, oh, okay, wait, is it a praline? Uh, it's, but the color is red. See on the, the second image, it's reddish in color. And um, the pecan pie isn't reddish. That's why I thought it was a rhubarb pie. Because it looks, see, it looks reddish. Well, I know, but there's two, so there's two examples, and that's what I, I wonder if it's a, like, something that's called a praline or something, but I so don't There's know. those flakes, look like they're in. Yeah, the praline is, is a very dark brown. When we in Louisiana, we had praline cake, or praline well, pies, we'll but with almonds. You see, now this one is tiramisu, right? That's yeah. tiramisu. 
Yeah. Boy, that's good. Tiramisu. Okay. One that, of my favorites. Oh my God, that's so good. Tiramisu. Number four is this cannoli. This is homeopathic. Oh. Four is cannoli. Oh, there it is. Cannoli. Oh, yeah. Fancy. Oh, okay. Cannoli. I just very popular. Creep. There was a place called Holy Cannoli in Massachusetts. We used to go to all the time. And this is creme brulee. Creme, creme brulee. brulee. I'm glad I don't have to spell these. <laughs> yeah, me too. Creme brulee is what I wrote. Okay. Uh, this is. I think these are really popular over there uh, in Japan, right? And I don't know what they are. We can get them here, but I forgot what they're called. Yeah, I don't know. Um, is it just like it a, begins? I think I, I want to say it begins with an M, like uh, mo, mo, Mogi or Mochi or some. Oh, let's dab at it. Yeah, that's that's close. Mochi. I think I I don't remember. How would you think it's spell it? I could be completely wrong. I don't know. Could be. It looks like ice cream, but it's not. M O C H I is what I wrote down. That kind of looks like a word. It, like a it is. It actually is ice cream. In some cases, it is. It's ice cream. I think. Oh, I thought it was like a cake. Okay. Well, maybe I'm thinking too different. It doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Oh, what is it called? That's um, strawberry. The no, it's not strawberry. What's the British thing that, that Ramsey makes all the time? Um, shit. What is that called? Our brandy looks yummy. No, no, no um, Gordon Ramsay. He makes that all the oh, time. It's some kind of. Uh, they look totally different. It's a layered. Yeah, what is that? It's called. Oh, shit. It's just they're totally different fruits in there. So I don't know what that would be. Yeah, no, there's a name for it. That's my watch. I, I, those look. I wouldn't be able to choose between the two. It's the name of a British dessert, and we have that here all the time. It's called, um, oh shit. I have to ask my wife. Well, where oh, is she? She's with the puppy right now, taking care of him. We're going to be screwed. Okay, this is cheesecake? No, that's not no, flan. Flan. That's flan. 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 That's a Mexican dish, right? Yes. And it's extremely good. I don't yeah. know what this is. Apricot? It looks like peach. That's peach. Um, upside down cake. Peach upside down cake. Oh, oh upside oh, down. Yeah. yeah. Is it peach or apricot? Or does it matter? Oh. Either one. Peach or yeah, it could be apricot. Peach or apricot. Upside down cake. It looks like peach. Yeah. That would they be could... easy to make. You just lay them on there and put the dough on top of it and uh, mix. Yeah. Flip it upside down. And this. That's... German chocolate cake. Is that right? Yes. German chocolate cake. Well, it's cherry. not German just like a layer cake? Yeah, but that's how German chocolate cake always oh, has a cherry. Like the, is it the flavor of the chocolate that makes it German? Well, if you look inside, there's a, a cherry filling. So oh. there's um, whipped cream. And then you can see the cherries, the cherry jam, which is in between the layers of chocolate. That's German chocolate cake. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning because we got a couple we skipped. So the one we don't know. What is it? Oh, shit. What is that one? Oh, I just I saw it on TV. This sucks. I don't know. Let me go get that's my let me ask Cheryl. Donut holes. <laughs> no, okay. Peta four. Going forward instead of backwards. Okay, hold on. Peta four is something. Hold on. Let me, let me ask my wife. I'll be right back. <laughs> So we're missing one and seven. Seven. Or three, we, I mean, two, we think is the con pie. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that's the best guess. I, I, there are two different pies, though. Mm. 
No, when we went to um, your skeptic camp and we went to a restaurant down the street from the Winchester house, they had the best flan I've ever had in my life. Oh my gosh, oh. it was so good. In what that, was different about it? I don't know. It just tasted so yummy. Okay. Let's see. I, 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 for, um, number seven. It's on the tip of my tongue. I, it's, it, on, it's on uh, Health Kitchen or it's on MasterChef all the time. Chef Ramsay, he has it all the time. Um, and they serve it in the British restaurants here all the time. Um, what is that called? Oh, shit. Um, it's not like oh, a ty type of pudding kind of thing. No, is it? no. It's just layered. We, we have so many British friends, and during Christmas, they serve this to us all the time. But what is it called? Um, it's a stupid name. Um, crap. Once I hear it, I'll kick myself. So this is just Oreos, crushed Oreos in there. And Are you back close to being done? Well, yeah, there. we're just guessing it's, at this point. Close, so yeah, okay. um, well, you'll have a couple minutes, so. Yeah. I don't. Don't I, come to Jamie. I don't think I could eat that. That would make me. We don't eat the whole thing, Susan. It's a group. Of well, why would you not eat the whole thing? Because um, it's big. Well, then you make it a small dishes. Otherwise, you'd be tempted. All right. Look at that. I'm closing up. Uh, once I once I hear the name, I'll take myself. It's called. Um, it's a stupid name. Um, and your wife doesn't know. No, she forgot also. <laughs> Shouldn't be allowed. I know. Shit, we have it so long. There's so, there's so many British restaurants here. All over the place. Um, British layer dessert. No, it's a, it's a silly name. Um, um, let's see. Um, it's not a type of pudding. No. no. Okay. Um, I'm going through the alphabet. Once I hear the name, um, um, well, I have no idea. I love slimy fruit. bastard. No, I don't know. No, the desserts, that's the one I would eat. Yeah. No, what is it called? Um, crap. The first one looks like donut holes. I don't know. Um, it's that pet four. <clears throat> crap. Oh, shit. So the tea, not truffle. It's a, a tea, um, tiffle, tuffle. Tr truffle, tuffle. Um, Let's write down truffle just in case. No, it's not truffle. It's, it's other tea. Um, tiffle, tiffle. 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 Oh, shit, what is it? Tiffle. Tiffle, tiffle. I this? thought the answer is like Gobi, Sahara. I was hungry. It was so much fun. You're, um, Susan, you're a mute. I don't know. I want dessert now, and it's your fault. Very yeah, we have to have the break early. We have to break after these answers, so I go get something to eat. That was brutal. <laughs> that was brutal to watch. I'm a diabetic. Hey, what you got? Jamie, Chocolate. Jamie couldn't come up Cake with them, everything. So. I have the I ingredients to make I number like 10 Jamie. downstairs. Like I have Kirsch in my kitchen because I've made that cake like four times. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't give you a point. Mm -hmm. All right, number one is the croquembouche. Never heard yes. of it. Oh. A pile of cream puffs with some oh, sun and puffs? caramel. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. I thought it, it was the Italian green green things with the honey on them. I thought they looked like... Do we yeah. have to spell it correctly? No, no, of course. Thank you. You gotta, I had to look it up about three times to put the name up here. So you got a spider so web so all over a spider it. to do the uh, oh, oh, that is caramel. Cool. I'm caramel. Sorry, guys. You were right, Uncle Ron. I'm sorry. 
Number two is the Linzer Tort, and it is a classic Austrian pastry. What is that? Austrian. It's the Linzer Tort. It's a pie with with witch fingernails in it. So it's, is those fingers coming out of the pie on the one? Yeah, they like make pie. it with fingers. They the fingers of their enemy. It like that. It looks like fingers. <laughs> Look. That's what it is. Sure. Well, fingers <laughs> in direction, too. Fingers, fingers of the of defeated foes. <laughs> Number three is a tiramisu. Oh, man. That's, that's good. My personal oh, favorite on this whole that's list. That's very good. Yep, me too. T-I-R-A-M-I-S-U. Just a bunch of beautiful cow fat with cocoa on it. Yeah, that's good. Number four is the cannoli. The cannoli. Leave the gun, take the cannoli. Take the cannoli. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number five is the creme brulee. That's how you spell it. Number six is mochi ice cream. <gasps> so just mochi is fun. Mochi right. ice cream. It's oh ice my cream. God. Carolyn. Yeah, the mochi is the it's stuff around it, around it, and then the ice cream's yeah. in the yeah but it's kind of a lot of people just say mochi now because okay. americans don't eat mochi unless it's ice cream really this is an english trifle is trifle okay trifle's trifle. fine yeah that is what you were it. trying to say jamie you were all yeah around. jamie couldn't remember it. he said so it was a silly name so a trifle, the one on the other side the chocolate one is sometimes called the chocolate orgasm yeah so is a trifle necessarily trivial it sounds like it, but it's quite a substantial and lovely dessert. Yeah. Number eight is the upside down creme brulee is the flan, but they're made differently. The recipes are really different. And obviously the caramel is is uh, hard on the first one and, and runny on this one. Number nine is the tart tatin, oh. which is an apple, basically upside down apple pie. Oh, I thought those were pineapples. Wait, so is that the same as upside down cake? It's not the answer, no. Tart <laughs> but the is the answer. Thing. It is not the same as upside down cake. You have a tart pan. You do not use a cake pan. There's a uh, the rules were you weren't on a fact check team for. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> there is not no a cake. Score. There is not no a cake. cake. It's a tart, but not a cake. It is not uh, moist at all. <laughs> and I, this I, is the black forest cake. Oh, that's, my, that's my favorite. Said German chocolate. That's my favorite. Yeah, German chocolate has coconut in it. German chocolate also has like it? pecans on the outside and it's gross. Yeah, German chocolate is not as good. The Black Forest cake's nicer. For, for non coconut people, anyway. I think I want a cannoli right now. Yeah, that's it's good. Me too. Uh, okay. I want a salmon. Mm. Black Forest. I want one of each. <laughs> That'd be good. You can go to a buffet. I bet you, you could get a little little thing of each one. Magic uh -huh. Castle does that. So I'm uh -huh. sure you could do it. Go to the castle tomorrow. Right, so. I probably will. <laughs> they definitely did. Okay, very good. So I guess we got to just score us, huh? I'm just thinking about what's in my refrigerator right now. Okay, the rules were that you weren't going to fact check team four. Eight. Eight? Yeah, eight. eight. Oh, okay, categorize we this. the round. I, I think yeah. we got them all. We got nine. We got nine. We didn't get the limbs or torch. Oh, okay. Okay. No team name because we can't make decisions today. I believe we got six. Is that right? Yep. yep. Okay. okay. The cute baby Thai hippo looks like a sourdough loaf. That's because his parents were bred in captivity. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Brandy and Kyle? What's What did my team get? Baby hippo know. people. Apparently nobody kept score. Oh, I could look and see. Um, I I'm usually never doing that. So let's see. Uh one, two, three, crunch four. three. We got four. <laughs> you screwed your team, Peggy. Is that right, <laughs> Carolyn? Was it four? She has five. What do you have, Carolyn? That's five. We had the tiramisu, the cannoli, the creme brulee. The mochi and the flan. Oh, I said it's five. Yes, right. I think I missed the. I don't know. I missed something. Oh, well, this team will get the next person who shows up. So, we'll smart play playing. The strategy right. Of well, course, I'm moving on to the So, are we gonna break. Are we gonna break for a snack now. No, 
we'll break in a moment after oh, the next category. Okay. So that and will be my suggestion you, is next time someone does a category like this, it's the second category. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> idea. Give it away. Yeah, good yeah. idea. Yeah. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Now, Rob, you can take us into your kitchen. Uh huh. Okay. So, second category is pizza. Breaking news. Whose pizza voice is good. this? Whose voice is this? I am oh, going. Is it like a... I am going to play a f audio file for you, and instead of it being TV series intros, it's going to be voices, and you're going to tell me who's the voices. But it's going to sound like the voices oh. in my head. And then I will give you the file. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to name that tune. Right. Play it. Let's see. I think I will share the file I have opened. Here we go. Why is that not working? Why do I have meeting controls? Stop. So far, they all sound like Rob Palmer. Why yeah, not hearing you? you forgot. You forgot to share your. Story. No, I didn't. Oh, I see. The volume control on the right Sentenced is off. Sentenced for thirty-four felony convictions next week on Thursday. Um, the prosecutors who brought that case and who prosecuted in court that case against Donald Trump, they were due today to make their sentencing recommendation <laughs> to the judge. I'm joined right now by Democratic Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi, former House Speaker. Madam Speaker, uh, thank you for being with us. So the former president is trying to rewrite history, ludic ludicrously now claiming you were behind the insurrection at the Capitol, saying he should have total immunity. Yeah. You've seen a lot of presidents up close. If a president had total immunity, as Trump claims, what would that mean? What would that actually look like? A tornado hit Washington yesterday. His name is Newt Gingrich, I do. the first Republican in 40 years to be sworn in as Speaker of the House. He wasted no time pushing through the GOP's first set of legislative reforms in a 14 and a half hour marathon session. Who is this bright, complex, shoot from the hip Republican revolutionary? Even some of his congressional colleagues don't know what Newt Gingrich will do next. Just in tonight, America's intelligence agencies revealing Iran hackers sent the Biden campaign material stolen from Trump campaign emails. It comes as top tech company officials were grilled about Iran and other countries' efforts to undermine the election on their platforms. We are just over six weeks from the final votes in one of the closest and most unusual elections in American history. Voting has already begun in some states. Trump and Harris basically tied, and the handful of battleground states that will determine the outcome are being flooded by the campaigns with money, ads, volunteers, and of course the candidates. Well, from a just from a purely congressional point of view, I uh, really uh, wouldn't think that was a very satisfactory speech. Uh, it did not deal with the realities of why he was leaving. Uh, there was no accounting uh, in the speech of uh, how he got there and why he was leaving that over room. That whole question of Watergate is all that anybody in the Congress has had on their minds for the better part of a year. Half the Congress has defended him. Half the Congress has gone <coughs> out on a limb for him. In the absence of any uh, explanation or any acknowledgement of the president's responsibility in the Watergate cover-up, the viewer is left to conclude that it was simply some craven politicians in the Congress who collapsed in their defense of the president, and solely because of that was he having to leave the presidency. Well, Obama was one of the most attractive political candidates, <laughs> certainly the most attractive in my lifetime in all of the, not obviously I disagree with him on policy, but um, he has a lovely family. Uh, he's unbelievably well-spoken. He tells great jokes. Um, he sings beautifully, looks good in a suit. I mean, just everything I've heard about the Kennedys, you look at Obama and as a Republican think, 
I'm so glad I don't have to run against that again. 46 days to go to the election and the fierce fight tonight in the key battlegrounds. Vice President Kamala Harris in Atlanta, her emotional comments today about the death of a mother who she says could not get care in time after reports of medical help was delayed because of that state's strict abortion ban. The major headline also from Georgia tonight, that state's election board ordering the hand counting of all ballots, likely delaying results on election night in what could already be a very close election. We turn to another crisis. This one is hitting you right here at home. For the third straight trading day, stocks plummeting, collapsing amid fears of a global recession and rising unemployment while major industries are buckling under high interest rates. The Dow was down more than 1,000 points. The S&P suffered its worst day since the market sell-off in 22, erasing $1.4 trillion in a matter of hours. This is day three of what President Trump is now calling the Kamala crash. This presidential campaign is in full swing. That first debate, over. Both sides say it was also the last debate. And that very big change is another way that we can tell you this year's campaign is quite different than most in the last several decades. Remember, typically there are three debates in the general election, which stoke several inflection points for voters across the fall. That was fun. Okay. I don't have to quit this for some reason. Why is this not letting me quit this? That was fun. Let's go. Okay. Let me give you the file. Oh, wait a minute. Can't go yet. Second thing is, there's a bonus question. Uh Uh-oh. Since you realize there's a connection, I hope, between those voices. The bonus question is, what does the MS in MSNBC stand for? Okay, and here is the file. Someone will have to tell me if it actually opens for you guys. It is on my Google Drive. <coughs> there you oh. go. What is it called? Make sure that that works. And I'm also going to be nice and give you the timestamps. Yep, it works for me. It works. Okay, go to your rooms. Good luck. Have fun. Did you want me to play the file? Because I can't answer any of these. I wrote down a bunch of them. I don't know if between all of us. Oh, Caspian's here. Oh, he goes into damn it. He goes into room one. (laughs) But he doesn't listen to the first one is obviously Rachel Maddow. Yeah, yeah. I think we all know that. Yeah. Do you want me to uh, share and so that I can play it or what? Not yet, yeah, because I can. think we might know or we might be able to go to one. Okay, the next one's Anderson Cooper. If If we could play the file, somebody who knows it, I would recognize it if they said the name, I think. Yeah, that's I ran into. Okay, so the third one, I don't know. Did anybody know the third one? Did you know, Jane? Uh, no, I, I, I lost track there. It's, this is the kind of thing you actually have to be like pencil on paper, I think, because otherwise. Yeah. And, and write it down when you know it. Okay. So number four is Don Lemon. It's what? Can we hear, can we hear number three? Go to three. His name is Newt Gingrich. Wait, I forgot. Oh, yeah. wait, I just heard it. Does that sound like Connie Chung? Let's go back and hear that. Again. Oh, did did it work? Because yeah. uh, I forgot yes. to say share sound. Yes. Republican in 40 years to be sworn in as Speaker okay. of the House. That what sounds like Connie. That is. He's first set of legislative Please? reforms in a 14 and a half hour marathon session. Who is this bright, complex, shoot from the hip Republican yeah. revolutionary? Is it to you? Colleagues don't know what New Gingrich will do next. Just was me. was she back that far? Yeah. Okay, I can't remember when. I think so. Okay, now number four is Don Lemon. Number five, if somebody said the name, I'd know exactly who it is. Caspian can't stand this guy. Can can we hear number four? Oh, yeah. 
And tonight, America's intelligence agencies revealing Iran hackers sent the Biden campaign material stolen from Trump campaign emails. I now, think it's Lester Holt. Company officials were grilled about Iran. That might be right. These efforts to undermine the election on their platforms. We are just Lester, talking, Lester who? Can't wait, Lester Holt. Stop, stop in between Vincent. Lester if Holt. Can. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Lester Holt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but let's but let's stop and talk about it because Susan thinks it's Don no, Lemon. I, I think it's Lester Holt now that you mention it, but it, okay. when I first heard it, I thought Don Lemon. All right. I think it's Lester Holt. <laughs> Five, I know this guy, he's on, he's on CNN. Caspian can't stand him. He's got a kind of nasally voice. He says he does awful work and he's very popular. Well, kind of popular and I can't think of the name. Can we hear it? One of the closest and most unusual elections in American history. Voting has already begun in some states. Trump and Harris basically tied, and the handful of battleground states that will determine the outcome are being flooded by the campaigns with money, ads, volunteers. Where's the candidates? Well, from a just from purely. Okay, uh, so I stopped listening to CNN. I stopped watching CNN several years ago due to reasons. So I am. Only familiar with a few people on CNN. I do not know that voice. It's his name is Dan. <laughs> I don't think um, that was point. He's uh, oh, I can almost picture the dude. Um, you want me to play it again? No, no. Let's go ahead. Six okay. is a Nixon reporter, and I have written down. Something. I think I thought it was maybe Walter Cronkite. It's in part in in certain at certain moments I thought it sounded like him and at certain moments I thought it didn't. So let's play it. Yeah, let's listen. Okay. I really didn't think that was a very satisfactory speech. Oh, what about David Brinkley? With the reality when he was leaving. There was no accounting uh, in the speech of uh, how he got there and why he was leaving that over. I don't know when I put Dan Rather, but oh, and it's had wait hands for the better part of a year. Half the Congress has defended him. Half the Congress has gone out on a limb for him. In the absence of any uh, explanation, or any I say David Brinkley. I think that's. I think you're right because Dan Rather is more recent, and David Brinkley was more in that era. To conclude that it was simply some craven politicians, Congress, who collapsed their defense of the president, and solely because of that was he having to leave the presidency. Well, Obama was one of the most attractive. Stop the stop the, stop the recording. Sorry. Okay. I'm okay with Brinkley. I like David Brinkley too. Okay, Vincent. Go ahead. Apparently yeah. it's attractive in my lifetime in all of the, not obviously I disagree with him on policy, but um, he has a lovely family. Uh, he's unbelievably well-spoken. He tells great jokes. Um, he sings beautifully, looks good in a suit. I mean, just what about I've heard about the Kennedys. You look at Obama. That, blonde, that fox, blonde, Laura, what's her name? Ingram? Yes. Can we? I think he's can we, all liberals. Oh, uh, I don't know that that's true. It's can, because can you start it? Can you sound start like seven? a liberal. Can you start seven again, please? Yeah. 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 It's not, it's not ringing the bell to me either. I don't think it's Laura Ingram, but. I don't think it's a liberal. Okay. Listen to what she says. Well, Obama was one of the most attractive political candidates, <laughs> certainly the most attractive in my lifetime in all of the, not obviously I disagree with him on policy, but. Oh, yeah. He has a lovely family. Uh, he's unbelievably well spoken. He tells. Oh, well, that's Ann Coulter. Um, he sings. Oh, is it really? So, Ooh. I mean, I just I don't recognize everything I've heard about the Kennedys. You look at Obama, and as a Republican, think, "I'm so glad I don't have to run against that again." Eighty-six days to go into the election, and the fierce fight tonight 
into key battlegrounds. Right. Okay, so eight is a man. Emotional comments. Anybody have eight? Oh, mm -hmm. I haven't heard it yet. Can we can we hear, Let's it? hear it? Okay. Six days to go to the election and the fierce fight tonight in the key battlegrounds. Vice President Kamala Harris in Atlanta, her emotional comments today about the death of a mother who she says could not get care in time after reports medical help was delayed. <clears throat> that state's strict abortion ban. The major headline also from Georgia tonight that state's election board ordering the hand counting of all ballots, likely delaying results on election night in what could already be a very close election. We turn to another crisis. This one. Oh. I don't know who eight is. I don't either. I'll like play nine. Can you yeah, can you start nine at the beginning? Okay. Is it you file. for the third straight trading day stocks plummeting, collapsing amid fears of a global recession and rising unemployment while major industries are buckling under high interest rates. The Dow was down more than a thousand points. The S P suffered its worst day since the market sell off in twenty two, erasing one point four uh -huh. trillion hours in a matter of hours. This is day three of what President Trump is now calling the Kamala crash. This He's wearing his that. t shirt. That's so cool. Okay, so Kyle, we've got it's 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 um voices from the media and it's just the voices and there's a couple we don't know. So we're hoping you're gonna do you know the media voices you think? You're on mute. You're on mute. Okay, so 10 is, um, oh, here comes Karen. Uh, 10 is going to be, I already know who it is. Ari Melbourne. Yeah, Ari Melbourne. Yeah. So do you want to go and, and just have him hit the ones that that are obviously we didn't know? Yeah. Yes. Five, yes. Six, I do, six, know, eight, I do know that. I do know that nine, but I, I can't place it. And also, bef before we leave, I would like to play two again, because I've noticed before that voice only, I find that Anderson Cooper and Jake Tapper's voices are indistinguishable to me, uh, interestingly. So before we end it, I would like to play that. Okay, so two. let's go with five. Let's do the ones we don't have anything right. for. Five, eight, five. And nine. Five, oh, eight, and nine. Kyle and Kyle might know the answer to number eleven. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Looks in one of the closest and most unusual elections in American history. Voting has already begun in some states. Trump and Harris basically tied, and the handful of battleground states that will determine the outcome are being flooded by the campaigns with money, ads, volunteers, or the candidates. Well, from a So five, that was five. If we, we have a guest for five, Joe Haneman. Who? Yeah. Uh, I yeah, I know who you're talking about. That's almost impossible. Good for you, Jane. Uh, that's not who I thought it was, but okay. Let's uh, put it down. It's okay. something. Which one? Okay. Eight. Uh, Let's eight. go to eight. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. That was all Brandy, by the way. <laughs> oh, she's here good. Days to go to the election and the fierce fight tonight in the key battlegrounds. Vice President Kamala Harris in Atlanta, her emotional comments today about the death of a mother who she says could not get care in time after reports medical help was delayed because of that state's strict abortion ban. The major headline also from Georgia tonight, that state's election board ordering the hand counting of all ballots likely delaying results on election night in what could already be a very close election. We turn to another crisis. That's such a very moderated, bland voice that it doesn't yeah. have anything distinguishing it. That could be AI. Put AI. <laughs> and and that's listen, put AI. That's, a, that's brilliant. <laughs> For number nine, uh, listen, and, and I'm wondering if it's that, um, who's that Fox guy, Hannity? Let's let's see. Let's 
just keep that in one corner of your mind. We're sending you right here at home for the third straight trading day, stocks plummeting, collapsing amid fears of a global recession and rising unemployment while major industries are buckling under high interest rates. The Dow was down more than a thousand points. The S&P suffered its worst day since the market sell off in 22, erasing $1.4 trillion in a matter of hours. <laughs> this is day three of what President Trump is now calling the Kamala crash. I think that's who it is. Then it could be. I I'm pretty sure that's who it is. So his what's his first name? Sean. Yeah, Sean Hannity. I was wondering if it wasn't that extreme mean conservative guy. Well, that's, that's Sean Hannity, right? <laughs> well, uh there's a particular one. I gotta think of his name. But I think he tries to be more edgy than that. So let's go with what we have. Okay. Do you want to go back to Do number we, two? And don't let's, tell let's stop at eleven. Do we yeah. know what the M yeah. on MSNBC means? The MS on MSNBC. I don't remember hearing this one day, but I don't know what it is now. Oh, Bill O'Reilly was who I was thinking of. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> well, if we could hear it again. Hear what? Which one? Number, number nine. nine. Number nine. Okay. And uh, not to put anyone's fears or anything like that, I think I'm getting a low. So I'm going to have to check myself. Close election. Return but I will wait crisis. until this after this. Sitting you right here at home for the third straight trading day, stocks plummeting collapsing amid fears of a global recession and rising unemployment while major industries are buckling under high interest rates. The Dow- I think it's Hannity. Thousand points. Yeah, yes, let's go with Hannity, yep. Since the market sell off in 20- You ready to go for a couple more minutes, Vincent? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, it's, I'll be, I'll be okay. Okay, go to Try two. Try two. And don't say who we think it is and let's see if Kyle gets who we think it is. All right. Thank you for being with us. So the former president is trying to rewrite history, ludicrously now claiming you were behind the insurrection of the Capitol, saying he should have total immunity. You've seen a lot of presidents up close. If a president had total immunity, as Trump claims, what would that mean? What would that? I'm mean? hearing Anderson Cooper. Yeah. The tornado hit Washington. The way he said so, he he has those. Uh, I um, I I agree. I just find that I cannot distinguish their voices. I've well, noticed that frequently. In fairness, I don't know the other person you mentioned, Jane, so it could just as oh. well be them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we got everything but eight, right? So About do we know? And, and, and 11. And 11. The, well, 11, what, we what put that? AI for eight. <laughs> <laughs> what is the MS and MSNBC? What could it be? Oh, Microsoft. Maybe? Oh, okay. Is it oh, really? Yeah, you got me. I knew that one for sure, yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, okay so we're sharing the screen and go ahead and do what you want to do, Vincent. Eight. Go check oh, yourself eight. your blood sugar. Eight's the one okay. we don't know. Yeah, but we're not going to get that. That's too. Okay. But we, just... we we got the bonus, so we might. Yeah. Well, yeah. The only one I really don't. Number five was that CNN guy. I've never heard of Joe Harmon. Joe oh, Hayes. when you said Heineman, I thought you meant that. Um, he's like a commentator on, he's often on MSNBC. Um, that's who I thought you meant by Heinemann. If you think that's better than my answer, let's put it. Oh, I, I thought you did it. say Heinemann. You did you say Heinemann. Heine. Heine. I can't think of the guy's name, but I think he's the guy from CNN that Caspian thinks does a horrible job. And I, oh, yeah. And I'm watching know. him. It's not, I don't recognize. I don't know. He's on the weekend and his name. Oh, get Zoom. Whenever they, I never see the timer. It just never shows up. It's probably under a different screen somewhere. That was fun, Rob. That was fun. I, everybody on my team was, watches the same news channel. Well, that that could be bad. <laughs> you then. only watch one. You're doomed. <laughs> so, so I, I was uh, I was trying to be fair to people who may have and balance you know, different. Fair and balance. <laughs> I have I had two from two from ABC. 
two from CBS, one from CNN, two from Fox, uh, two from MSNBC, and oh, one from well, that Disney. just that just decided. You're probably I, right, I, Kyle, on on I, that one I broke, that I thought was. I broke CNN. it up. All uh, right, so PBS so here, is now uh, uh, mad at you. So here we go. Let me share the screen. Everybody knew the first one, which I'm very happy about. Totally left out the news hour. Poor PBS. Karen's made a jailbreak. There's Karen. Hey, hey Karen. Karen. Why I listen to? Hey, Jamie and Caspian. Okay. Can you see the screen? Hello, yeah. hello. Yep. Hey, oh, I oh, love yeah. her. All right. Here we go. The former president of the United States is going to be sentenced for 34 felony convictions yes. last week oh. on Thursday. Um, the prosecutors who brought that case and who prosecuted in court that case against Donald Trump, they were due today to make their sentencing recommendation to the judge. I'm joined right now by Democratic yeah. Congressman Nancy Pelosi, yeah. former House Speaker. Madam Speaker, uh, thank you for being with us. So the former president is trying to- He always says that. Job, so, he luders, luders, so. Firstly, now claiming you were behind the insurrection at the Capitol, saying he should have- Did anybody not get Anderson? You've seen a lot of presidents up close. I wouldn't have got it. Even I got it. I wouldn't have got it, but Avi got it from my team. What would that mean? What would that actually mean? Oh, I guess like? sort of. A tornado. Oh, Last somebody from the got it. She was the easiest one for me. I first I didn't recognize it. Years I've never heard of her. Speaker of the House. I, I've heard of her. That's before your time. You know, her you know, her husband, I was the one who got that for our team. You know, her husband did that show. He had another show. They used to say the noise it made was chung. <laughs> she is an accomplished woman on her own. That's not what I was saying. That's not what I was saying. Elon <laughs> Hacker sent the Biden campaign material stolen from Trump campaign emails. It comes as top tech company officials were grilled about Iran and other countries' efforts to undermine the election on their platforms. First, I thought it was Don Lemon. We are just over six weeks from George the George Stephanopoulos. Yeah. 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 George Stephanopoulos. Oh, that's in not even who I thought it was. Big, big birds, best friend. Basically tied. I like this. And a handful guy. of battleground states that will determine the outcome are being flooded by the campaign with money, name, ads, and I could, and I, the candidates. Well, from a, just from a pure Roger oh, Mudd. Oh, oh, right. Mudd. Did anybody get Roger Mudd? No. Yep. No. Yes. 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 Hey, way to go. Was this so before or after he was in Star Trek? Why he was with his women. With his women. Yeah, Mudd. How he got there. Why he was leaving that yeah, I had, to, I had to put this one in because that one of the oldies, and I, I left the Watergate reference in, so at least you would have a you know reference for how old yeah, it was. Yeah, we, we, we went for a whole bunch of names. Was one of the most attractive. And this one was making candidates. faith vomit. Hey, <laughs> certainly the most attractive in my well, lifetime in all like of the, not obviously I disagree with him on policy, but um, he has a lovely family. I had no idea uh, he's unbelievably well spoken. Got great he tells hair. great jokes. Um, he sings That's beautifully. The looks point. good in a he's suit. He's a raging bitch. I mean, just everything yeah, I've heard about Joseph. the candidates. I, I would, you look at Obama. I had no idea that what she looked like. Think, um, I've so I don't think I've ever seen that. Does she again. always look like this? Days to go I can't believe people had trouble oh, with this. He just did the debate. Vice President Kamala Harris. Well, his voice is so bad. I didn't watch today about the death of a mother. Who she says could not get care in time after reports and I wouldn't of medical even help was his delayed anyway. because of that state's strict abortion ban. The major headline also from Georgia tonight: that state's election board ordering the hand counting of all ballots, likely delaying results on election night in what could already be a very close election. <laughs> we turn to another crisis. This one is hitting huh? right here at home for the third straight trading day. Stocks there. plummeting collapsing amid fears of a global recession and rising unemployment while major industries are buckling on this, by the way this by the way was a a tiny blip in the stock market's increasing rise about a month ago and it's like this is the end of the world it's all kamala's fault under high interest rates the dow was down more than a thousand points the s p <laughs> suffered its worst day since the market sell off in 22 erasing 1.4 trillion dollars in a matter of hours this is day three of what President Trump is now calling the Kamala crash. This presidential campaign is in full swing. Larry Miller. The first good. debate, uh, over. I misspelled no his say it was also the last debate. And that he was, he has a very, very big change voice. is another very way that we can tell you this year's campaign is quite different. Did anybody get that one? Yeah. Oh, yes. I don't know. Oh, I watch him all the time. It. <clears throat> Very good. Okay, very and uh, and and the bonus was somebody. Microsoft. 
Like yes, so. very good. So if he so if he proposes a toast, that would be a Melbourne toast. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. He's my hero. I love him. He's get he's scores together, you guys. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not keeping score, so you guys better have it. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. All right. So I gave you guys a whole bunch of new people. Almost everybody got a new <laughs> person on their team. So the cute baby Thai hippo looks like a sourdough loaf. That's because his parents were bred in captivity. We got 10. I gave you uh, Actually, we got 11. Ooh. Wow. News junkies. Um, no team name because we can't make decisions today. That was my team. Come on, team. Eight. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, we um, had eight. Thankfully, we got that bonus. And the rules were that you weren't going to fact check team four. Nine. And categorize this. We got a 10. Ooh. And you are not giving New me leader. a New leader. <laughs> okay. That was fun. I could see doing that again, you guys. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I like it had a again. theme, even though it was. You know, a strict yeah, it's good to have a theme. Because if it was just anybody's voice, oh yeah, I wouldn't do that to you. That would have been yeah. impossible. Okay, so let's take our photo. Everybody, turn on your cameras so we can take a nice photo of everybody. I want to see everybody's beautiful okay. face. I, I was considering doing all the voices of Downton Abbey, but then someone else oh. might be killed, so I didn't do that. <laughs> that that's God. water did under talk, the bridge. Did you guys talk about how many people we killed last week? Uh, oh, just one. Okay, everybody, one. smile. Look at the camera. Smile. One, two, three. Okay. I think we got so we you. didn't talk about all those other celebrities that died. We only had the one. I I know. Know. No, we did not kill Chris Christopherson. Good for <laughs> us. We didn't kill John Amos. No, I don't think so. But he, but he, he died but, in but, August. But, yeah, but you be careful who you talk about tonight, okay? Yeah. Like, yeah. keep it safe, guys. Keep it I safe. I love it how a group of skeptics are being like Christian people. Well, that's well, that's really what makes like, it funny. You know, we're just going with the evidence. We have so much evidence. Yeah, we have well, the a evidence lot of actually, evidence. Evidence just proved that because we didn't talk about all the other people who died. <laughs> well, yeah, and they're only like nine hundred years old, each one of them. So I don't know why we. No, be careful. Nobody's yeah. saying C's word. Nobody. Uh, Kevin, Kevin. And you, Kevin, the person. Yeah. Kevin, well, did see. you say John Amos died in August? Yeah. yeah. Well, we were talking about those sitcoms, and he, he I believe he was mentioned. Well, uh -oh. I don't know if it was in August, but I August think it was. It said he died August 21. We didn't find yeah. out about Get it. Get the recording. Get My understanding is that, that is that Jimmy Cullen that already is. sent his it sent hey, in. His, hey, uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know who John Amos is. The father on Good Times. Yeah. JJ Walker's father. Guy, Sorry. Dynamite. You never saw Kid Dynamite? <laughs> I'm going Mike. to get something to eat. Bye. I know Mike. Yeah, I've heard of that. So uh, I think I'm going to have some ice cream. Oh. <laughs> he was Kunta so, Kinte. He was Kunta Kinte. Who was that? I never saw Don that. Amos. He played Roots. the adult Kuta Kinte. In I don't Roots. think I ever saw that. That was Roots. I don't think you I never saw Roots? When he gets his leg chopped off, that was John Amos. No. Yeah, they okay. I'm still recording. Question was I'm in it was, you know, video. James Earl Jones. What role did James Earl and and someone said something about oh, I thought that was John Amos. So his name was mentioned. But you said he died earlier. So yeah, he died in the twenty, I think August twenty first. The thing was, is what I find interesting recorded. is how I wake up in the morning and all my because I'm in California, so all you East Coast people are messaging me like, who mentioned so and so? <laughs> I'm like, I guess <laughs> that person died today. Last yeah, the night. um the the lead woman in that Downton Abbey there, Maggie yeah. Smith is that Maggie her name? Maggie Smith. Yeah. yeah. Really, really weirdly, I I am binge watching The Good Place for like the third time through that series. And uh, Juma, um oh, what's her name? The Indian actress. Um, she's always name dropping. And in the episode that came up right after I found out Maggie Smith died, she goes, "Oh yeah, my godmother, Maggie Smith." It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, you you only remember the hits. This is yeah, exactly that how is exactly works. right. It is like it's exactly how it's like six it's people in episode. Only remember the hits. Six people in episode. They're not all. If dead. you think about the thousands and thousands of people, non-celebrities who've died, yeah. probably hundreds of thousands of people died in the last week. 
I'm not okay. depressing now. Why don't we I'm give it a name and cookies. call it confirmation bias? There you go. <laughs> I I didn't know the name, so that's, that's why right. I didn't say. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but that but that's that's funny how like it's it just you remember only, you know what I mean? It's just so weird because you pay attention to the things that you like and that you agree with. Yeah, I did have a low, so hopefully what I ate will be enough to. You grab a snack? My yeah, I did. Toast with honey. Ooh, not bad. I had a big, huge bowl of popcorn about twenty minutes before I signed on. Hmm. I'm in the other room. What do you now. like on your popcorn? Uh, butter and um, salt, but usually like either onion, salt, garlic, salt. That today I had celery salt. Oh, yeah. oh, that sounds that sounds really good. I never would have tried that. I put oh onion. Yeah, powder another thing that's good too. is the ever seen ever see everything bagel seasoning from yep. uh, Costco and a little yep. bit of Parmesan cheese. Yep, yep. I put Parmesan cheese and sometimes the everything salt stuff too. Yep, it's good. I used to put sugar on it, not anymore. Just a little. I did a lot of uh, walking today, and uh, that must have affected my blood sugar levels. Yeah, I had my test done for blood sugar, and they told me I've got to try a new medicine. It's like, oh, no, getting too high. Mm, yeah. I eat too much rice and potatoes and starch and bread. i got to cut down on yeah. And what, what is that bad for, Kevin? Uh, diabetes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Karen, are you on the lamb? What's going on? I uh, just came from... Uh... Uh, to the incident. Um, uh, <laughs> but I would... Oh, do you know when um, I'll be able to find out who's on my local ballots for my... Um, uh, for the upcoming election? Well, in California, uh, the they send out they posted on their website like several months before once what candidates website? have qualified. The, the elections, every county in the United States has an elections elections department. So it should be uh, co contact the Secretary of State's office for your state or the elections department in your county. The information's available as soon as candidates qualify, which is, you know, it's long before the election because they have to campaign and everything. Then uh, in California, every registered voter is mailed a ballot one month before the, uh, so we'll get ours like tomorrow or Saturday or Monday. I got mine if you can go. Yeah. Uh, but we're, but it, we're also sent sample ballots uh, in advance, frequently asked questions. Well, that's so what I really good in ballot. California. In yeah. Nevada also but go to your, Go to your Calo your Secretary of State's office, mm -hmm. and it will be um, a list. Are, there will be a list are of you measures. In, you are in Chicago. That's the one I got, Wendy. Yeah, well, I'm near Chicago, yeah. Um, oh, and then just, oh, then just yeah. call the mafia, and they'll tell you who, who no, who's won. The you Chicago the has a Board are. of Elections website. <laughs> so uh, so I'm, in, I'm in a different county. Okay, just search your county Board of Elections, where you can pull up your voter registration. Like here in North Carolina, it will show us what our actual ballot looks like for our specific district on our Board of Elections website. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're different for each state because each state runs its own election. Yeah. yeah, you should have it. You should have a Board of It's where you can look up your voter registration. It should have that attached there. And lots of times League of Women Voters has a lot of uh, helpful information. Yeah. Or just check with the mafia and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's do these real quick. Kyle, what do you got that's going on right now? <laughs> Kyle? Wasn't he just there? He scared him. Yeah, I guess he, I scared him. He's shot. Yep. Sorry, I, guess I was about to step away. We got nothing new. I had to take a week off on the show because I've been real busy, but thank you for the promo opportunity anyway. <laughs> well, I'm going to I'm going to say that you've been real busy with other things in addition to coming and talking to my class and he was really good. How did that, that was go? They go okay. Oh, he's great. They loved it. Yeah, he was great. Will you be in Chicago at all Kyle in the next week? 
Unfortunately, no, I'm here in Vegas till November. Okay, we'll see you when we get to Vegas. Just Looking give forward us, to it. Let us know where we should go in Chicago to eat. Because that's oh, what we'll yeah. That's what we'll be this time. Next Kyle's week. wearing the best shirt in the world right now. And just just FYI. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> isn't that awesome? Okay. Uh, I just checked my article's not out. I have an article that should be coming up in Skeptical and Fire on Tyler Henry. So it'll I, I wrote it. And then I made a video, and then one of my team members goes, oh, my God, Susan, I just uncovered these things. And so I had to suspend the article, and then I rewrote the article, added the things. So so it's totally different. I've even forgotten what I wrote about now. But that's coming out in the next. He said it'll probably be out tomorrow or Monday. Rob, yeah. you have something? Well, I voted today. So yeah. I may be the first person to have voted here. Um, mm -hmm. There were there were nine candidates for the presidency. Oh, I had I had to skip over uh, Jill Stein is freaking on there. Oh, God. As is as is Robert F Kennedy Jr. and a whole bunch of other names I've never even heard of. It's so weird. Yeah, for for me the the only people I'm just looking at my ballot now. The only people on there are Trump, Harris, and RFK Jr. Yeah, I, I don't I don't get this with New, Jer New Jersey. Why this is this way? <sighs> Rob, your cat's calling you. Yeah. He wants to vote too. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rob and I got a very interesting email today. <laughs> oh man! Early pause. Rob can society turn him down. He didn't he, even he, have he a did, PhD or he anything. Did not mention that. Just some guy's yeah. name. I'm like, you got Who are new you? physics. You should go to the American Physical Society. They're the yeah. people to talk to. They must get the nuttiest emails. Okay, so so the only thing I have is is uh, that we we hosted um, one of the Psycon speakers in Recovering from Religion Monday, and a few people showed up, and I hope they enjoyed it. It's not on YouTube yet, but when it goes on YouTube, they take a month to upload them for some reason. Um, I will share it. So yeah, it was Forrest Valkai, and he did a fantastic talk about why science makes you a better person. Aww, mm -hmm. good Romero. Me. Romero, you got something. Me. Oh yeah, we had uh, Adrian Hill come and give a talk to the. Uh, Never heard of her. Uh, <laughs> nice. And um, yeah, she spoke about the. That place called the Winchester House. Yeah, the Mystery House. <laughs> Nobody's heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we we had a good discussion, and we also had um, um, blanking out. Erica Engelhoff. Erica Engelhoff, and she oh. gave it. A talk to we so we had we have book club in our skeptics group and we read her book and then we had the author come and talk to us about the book so that was a lot of fun so i just put the link to adrian's talk i just saw the very beginning of it and had to pause it because i had to do other things today but that was really really nice to see she's getting a lot of attention well-earned attention and uh, on this mystery house page and she just you know it makes me happy to see um you know that kind well, of thing happen. our congressional district also have part of skokie and avi's still looking at who's totally ignored everything else we've said and uh carolyn's getting ready for free thought day california free thought day tomorrow night if anybody's in sacramento i think there's still tickets um California Free Thought Day presents John DeLancey in the Dover mm -hmm. Panda trial. So I don't know if there's still tickets available, but anyway. Um, and then Saturday night's the reception. I'm not going, but um, and then Sunday is the Free Thought Day, which is on the Capitol lawn. So, and uh, Jim Underdown will be getting an award. So it'd be nice to have some skeptical representation. So. And Peggy and I are going to go see Karen do improv. And Lee, you have something? Yay! Yay! Tomorrow night. This will be fun. Lee? Lee? Yes. You were waving your hand. Well, she was saying it would be nice to have people there, and I was going to be oh. one of the people there. Yes, he's going to be one of the people. He's going to be a people. Sam yes. is, I think a couple of you know uh, Sam, and he's going to be there too. Mm -hmm. Sam's good. Yeah. And uh, wasn't that an awesome debate? You guys all watch it. Right? It was. It, 
Um, I wanted to um, comment, I didn't know if it was going to come up during our game, that that being a, a slick debater does not mean that. Yeah, that, a lot of people say he lost. Even though he's slick, man, he's scary. I thought yeah. I wouldn't want to go up against him. This guy's, I would just embarrass myself. Yeah, I was I was worried honestly, but I thought Watts Waltz did better than I anticipated. So. You know, I got I have a big screen TV in my living room now. I can watch it because I can watch it now. I got really close and I really watched I watched Vance through the whole thing, and he had this little smile through uh -huh. the whole thing, and he just looked so sweet. And I was watching him. And I was watching his his uh, yeah. when, he, when he'd swallow. Because I have a really high def, and I was like, and you make that little smile, and I go, Oh man, you did a lot of eye rolling too. And like, mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't Ran. see any eye rolling, a little bit of like looking at the camera, like, mm -hmm. well, I'm looking at the timer, is what he's doing. Carl, what'd you say? Uh, the, the quote, a debate is not won by sound argument, it's by persuasive rhetoric. Mm -hmm. Do you know well, he, 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 he lost quote. it when he said, "Hey, you said you wouldn't fact check me." And <laughs> right, yeah, that was it. That was bad. And then the when he, the last thing he said about you know not believing in the election go along with mm -hmm. Trump like they didn't lose, that goes against what he said earlier because he said Kamala's in office now, so you know he's he's trying to blame everything. Kamala, Kamala, of course. Kamala and. Um, <laughs> And, and and you know and and Biden blaming everything on because they're in, but in his mind they really weren't in. Mm -hmm. So it's like make up your mind, buddy. You can't say they're in. He can't say, deny make up it. his mind. In, in regards to the fact checking, he may as well have said, "I thought we were going to be allowed to lie." Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, every yeah. the word that that I saw defined on Vance was chameleon, mm -hmm. changeling. Anyway, well, so let's go back. What I thought was really yeah. interesting was after the was over, one of the commentators was in a. Oh, a college classroom, a college group, and talking about the, to the students in Michigan. Oh, yeah, 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 that guy. Marie. The guy who said, if you know basic physics, you know that the vice president doesn't make the policy, the president does. Uh -huh. and he, all the way through, he kept saying, she did this, she did this, and it isn't. Biden did those. She hasn't been president. Trump was president, so it was his policy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that guy, I think his name is Maurice. I don't remember his name, but I was his impressed. video has gone viral of what he right. what he said. Good. I think we'll sign he, off now. And I if you want to know all Bye, the Jim. lies Vance told, Bye, Jim. Chris, Bye, Jim. Chris, Bye, Jim. Chris tonight did it. He went through all of the the lies, and there were many of them. I didn't catch all of them. I caught yeah, some. It was it was incredible. It, he was so smooth and swarmy that if you had to listen, if if you didn't know what jd vance is like normally and if you didn't know about trump the boy, he looked good yeah he came out good his eyes with the background were blue mm -hmm. with his blue eyes he looked great except that tie was burgundy it looked weird there, some people know. are theorizing that he's got um eyeliner tattooed on his eyes no, yeah, yeah, he looks like that. yeah. his eyes are just they just came out it was the blue i mean i i have blue eyes and my kids have blue eyes so i no, it just sometimes you just get it right with the lighting and, and yeah, it's but look like, at the eyeliner. Oh. Look at the eyeliner. I, 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 I was was stared at his eye tattoo on there. Mm. Okay. So we're back to the game. So okay. we have a, we're anywhere from 14 to 19. Two more rounds to go. And next up is Gail. Gail, what do you got? Complete new category. You get a boy. Today. today we're going to do the history of printing. Uh oh. Okay. Rob, are you going to be our scribe? Question one. I can do that. Okay, thanks. Okay, I'm question you one. With gas. Question one. The earliest form of printing was used throughout East Asia, identified as early as the Tang Dynasty in the 7th century in China. Initially used for printing images on textiles, it was later used on paper. Most surviving documents from that era were religious materials distributed to temples in Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and China. What was the method used to print them, the earliest form of printing? OK. 
Okay, question two. And we're going to have to keep changing this number. Okay, question two. The oldest completely surviving printed book is the Diamond Sutra, which is the British in the is in the British Library and was found in Dunhang, I don't know, China, a significant part of the Silk Road. It has been dated to what century? Question three. <clears throat> Starting around 1040 CE, Di Sheng and then Wang Zhen improved the system for printing by changing two things in the method of printing that was continued in the 12th and 13th centuries in China and Korea. Name one of the two significant improvements over the original system in question one. Question four. We all learned in school that Johannes Gutenberg invented printing. That's not entirely accurate. Aww. His world-changing invention improved the printing methods invented by Bisham and those who came after him. What was Gutenberg's significant addition to printing methods? And you'll notice that these are pretty much in uh, chronological order. That might be a help. Five, true or false? Gutenberg's invention was immediately widely popular, quickly making him wealthy. This was partly because his first 200 copies of the Bible could be sold at a much lower cost than the hand-copied Bibles that had been the only ones available before. Mm. Question six. Yeah, boy. Question six. When the which of the American founding fathers was first a printer? He dreamed of owning a printing shop when a, while apprenticed to his brother. He went to London where he lived for 18 months and learned the latest printing techniques unknown in the Americas. Taking a job in a newspaper, he and his new skills and hard work to purchase the newspaper and became a wealthy community leader. He also founded the first commercial franchise system in America with his printing business. I'm going to get a little bit shorter. Question seven. William Caxton translated the first printed books into English and became the first English printer. But this had what very long, long range impact on English spelling. And for that one, I'm looking for a general answer. For the next okay. one, for a very specific answer. That answer, will, you will not be able to do the, all the details on that one. This one is very much, for the, all of you who are trivia minded, this is about as trivial as you get. <laughs> what is the difference between a font and a typeface? This is just for the most pedantic and prescriptive of us who like to split hairs. This is more of a historical difference than a current one. Oh, I don't. Wow, that 
looking for the answer to that. I thought that one was fun when I learned that. I didn't know that before I was working on this. Part of the reason I love doing these because I learn all kinds learn, of stuff. Yeah. So I would not have known the answer to that question. But I think you will be amused when you find out what the answer is. Okay, number nine. Originally, printing was done with little pieces of metal stamped with letters, punctuation, or symbols, mirrored and upside down. What was the name given for these little pieces? Printing was done with little pieces of metal stamped with letters, punctuation, symbols. I'm not sure I understand the question. The question is, what is the, the little, the, when they put, put that, the type out, they, they have little pieces of metal that are made, the type is made out of. If you're printing with a, you know, that the whole bunches of the little pieces of metal with all those symbols on them that they have to put together to make the words, to make the stuff, there's a name for those little pieces. So, so my question involves the word originally. So are we going back to number one since you said these are in order? No, no. Originally for these pieces of metal, this is modern time. So when they, when once we started using those little pieces of metal and putting them around, this is the name they were gave. And that name is still there. And when I give you the bonus, you'll see it'll help you with that. Because those pieces in the last question were expensive and came in large sets. A time-saving technique involved the printer making a mold out of print, a printed page to be used again if that page was reprinted. What modern English word is derived from this practice or what modern English phrase comes from the answer to the last question? Okay. So these are not brand new. They're still, they still can be done, but we have, mom, we have computer ways of doing things now, and this is not about computer ways of doing things. This is about the original thing called printing. And I do have a bonus. And the bonus is these sets of, of stamps were different for each European language, those sets in the last question. Why? When you bought a set, you needed to know what language you were printing. Why? Any questions? <laughs> Give us a little time. I think we're going to have to have discussions in some of these. I hope so, because that's the whole <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Um, I don't seem to have powers because I don't have a... Oh, power. that's right. I'm sorry. You you came in a little after I gave everybody powers. Okay, so let me make sure I give Kevin his too while I'm here. Okay, hey, you have it now. Yeah, got it. You guys know what you're doing because I'm not going to be a lot of help. I, I'm not an expert on printing. Well, you don't have to be an expert. You just have to know something. <laughs> okay, Wendy, she's she's zoning or frozen or she's just messing by the question. Maybe, maybe she knows the answers. She's just like going. I wonder if it's this or that. Okay. Well, how did we? Well, no, I I was just reading the questions. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Because I used to, I at one time knew the answers to these. I, I haven't thought about them in a long, long time, though. I don't even know if I ever knew them. So we're well, gonna what, get, they, I, what was the method? Mindy, I'm going to get my my uh, watch out or something, and I'm going to hypnotize okay. you. Okay. Cover your memory. <laughs> what was the method used to print in, like, Japan and places like this? The early forms were recreational. Could it have been... What method was used to print them? Could it have been like somebody writing it and then they kind of wet it and print another paper like on top of it? Screening? Like silk screening? I was trying to think of like when you do a tattoo and you like pull it off and you wet it and you put it on your arm and it's still... yeah. So they would, but but you would want to need to do like a like be like a silk like screen. a mirror. It would have to be mirrored first. The first one, maybe they could do like a silk screen where you would. That, that, that was silk screen. Yeah. That, that could be. Okay. If that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's silk it's screening. Surviving you... book. What I want to know is why is it in the British Library? Um because they stole surviving, it. Surviving surviving printed. 
print book that was printed. Yeah. So I think it, it would be before. So it would be after the seventh century because these are chronological, right? So after the seventh century, but before the Gutenberg Bible. Oh, good, good, good catch. Yeah. So the eighth century? Eighth when, or ninth, because three is the 1040. Ninth? You want to do the eighth? I don't, know. I don't have a preference, but that's sure. Maybe I. Hello. Anybody care? Eight. What are you putting down? The eighth. Eight. Okay. So, what did they improve? The method of printing this for by, for printing by changing two things. Name one of the two significant improvements. Did they use stamps? Instead of, well, it is in Chinese, right? So they'd have to, I mean, it's elaborate to write one mm -hmm. little thing. So maybe they had some sort of, yeah, like a, I don't know. They had rubber and stuff, right? They wouldn't have been able to put it on rubber. That'd been too hard, but like a potato. <laughs> or could they have done wooden stamps, maybe? And carved it? Uh-huh. Uh, and, and. And use like some sort of ink to put on. Yeah, I think that's a good you don't idea. Think that, you don't think that number one, they were using stamps? Like, I don't no. think they would no. because remember, they had calligraphy with the brush. So they probably, the only reason they came up with printing was probably to print stuff onto paper to hang up on walls and things like that. Okay. Like, and it would have been very tedious, tedious to carve out kanji, I think. Yeah, so probably carved wood stamps that because that would make yeah. each character much faster to to put on yeah. there. It's not like they're words, right? Each character is a word, right? They're not letters. It's, yeah, right. Basically. But I think it was just the tediousness of just trying to make it until we got to the point where we were actually making metal ones where you could have some precision that it became easier. I think you're right. Um, okay, so now this seems like an easy answer because he mass produced it right he put it on a he made a rolling thing it rolled and and he put the type type is flat mm -hmm. and then he had uh some way of ink. he wiped the ink on and then it came in and it you turned it by hand and it would roll onto the paper Mm -hmm. is that just what significant addition what would that be that it was on a roll a roll is it considered movable type yeah movable type yeah because you that's probably better yeah movable around. Type. so what did they do whenever they did they always try oh i think that answer comes up quicker is that like what if you wanted to print more bibles and you've already printed one or a bunch of them, and you want to print a whole bunch more. Did they have to? Did they have a box somewhere with all the type sitting? Yeah, probably because that's a lot of type for a Bible. Yeah, yeah. one for each page. <laughs> well, yeah, but they but that was the big advantage was that they could use that same little box of type that that was um, composed of the text of each page over and over again instead of having monks handwriting but so did you, they you, after they finished their run of printing did they take the type and put it back into the little boxes and use it for another stuff or did they keep it exactly how they had it so that they could you know what it would i think that that maybe i don't think they could have possibly it, when the only it. thing that they were printing was the freaking bible yeah, they would keep that. But as time went by, they'd have to break it up. And, that, and this is why, speaking about this, I would think number five would be false. Because since this is a new technology, yeah. the starting cost of it is a bit more expensive. The labor until you can finally tune in, you know. Yeah, because you'd have to get a lot of type. Think about how many letter E's you'd yeah. have. So I would say false. And yeah, if you try to print something that wasn't a very popular... I mean, the Bible, I guess, is fine, but 
But even then, it's it's the copy is going to be probably comparable at or just slightly more than the monk cost because it. And people they didn't know how yeah. to read, so who would be buying Bibles? Right. Yeah, monks are work cheap. Yeah. Buy a stein of beer, and they're they're happy. Is number six Ben Franklin? I think it's got to be Franklin. I can't think of who else that would be. He's a founding That's father. That's why I put Ben Franklin. Mm -hmm. And number seven, my guess is that um, extra letters were dropped. So like the U from color was dropped. Oh, oh good mm -hmm. catch. Uh-huh. From where? What do you mean? So in oh, Britain, the, the word color is spelled C-O-L-O-U-R. In, mm -hmm. in American English, it's spelled C-O-L-O-R. We dropped off extra letters because of the cost of making the type. Of... I had never heard but, that. Where did British you hear that, Faith? I that's heard. my guess. That's the, my guess. That's, the that's British brilliant. English. No, the British speak English. Right, but British in British English, the word like the word color, for example, has a U in it. Right, but it says that uh, William Caxton translated the first printed books, uh -huh. which were probably not in English, into English. So well, I think that I think she's right. Written. I think they cut it off because it saved type. Think about it, like how many words in it in the word e that no longer have the e on the end. So mm -hmm. if they took that e off of there, it would have saved them a bunch of money and room because no longer you just removing letters. I think you're right. I'd never thought well, of like, that. Before. Uh, but like if he was translating it from Latin. Why would you like would Latin have an E at the end that you can remove? But it's it's let me see translated the first printed books into English and became the first English printer. I see where Romero is going with this. No, what well, my guess it's is translated the first English books, right? First books. So into English. when they're looking at the book. He knows that he needs to spell color with a U, but because the equipment is very, very expensive, I'm making the choice to drop off the U from color because it still looks. But he's but, saying that this is English, right. so he's right because they still why use. Did, the why U. do the British then still have color with a U? Because your argument Be, would not the British. My argument would not have that. because you're assuming that everybody thought what he did was right. So let's say that he started to do this. The books were cheaper. The books were crappy. We don't want them here. Send them off with the colonists so they can have it at their place. Well, what if, what about the answer? Maybe it just That's my the guess. answer is standardizing spelling. Standardizing spelling. How about that? I like your answer, but he, right. Romero's uh, faith. But Romero's right. They still spell it with a U. So, <laughs> but that, what but what I'm stating is is that it's possible. Maybe it didn't stick. Well, it didn't stick. People didn't like it. Those books were then sent off. Like, take all the crappy books we don't want that have all the misspellings and give it to the colonists that are going to, to America and going to other places. I don't know. I don't buy it. Uh -huh. it's, I think it's okay. standardizing the spelling. Mostly standardized spelling. But that is a really interesting idea if the Brits didn't continue spelling their words like that because it seems like that would save a lot of money if you dropped off letters that didn't have a sound. Yeah, Mr. My language has so many fucking vowels in it. <laughs> okay, number eight. A font and a typeface. Does anybody know? Typefaces are collections of fonts. A font is a style within the typeface. So you mean like um, mm -hmm. like a script is a typeface, but the name but of that so script So the be a font, font Arial has several different um, typeface uh it's several oh, typeface oh, Arial has it. several different styles Okay write it down here. she's already gave us the timer yeah, I already have that number 9 no idea I think they're called like letter presses or something like that but that's what I've seen on Etsy Okay cuz you can buy them letter presses um These pieces, last question, were expensive and came in large sets. It's not ten. Time saving technique involved mm -hmm. printer making a mold out of the print page to be used again if that page was reprinted. Mm -hmm. Stamp? Stereotype? I don't know. A modern <laughs> English phrase. 
Ouais. Okay, do we know the bonus? Because we got to move it. We got a minute. Mm -hmm. Let's the stamp are different for each European language. Why? Accents. Accents, maybe? I don't know. The accent. So you have the accent de grave, accent de gu, the umlaut, all of that. In the accent? Yeah. In the NA, yeah, because the accents. Of okay, the so letters. number 10. Do we have an answer for 10? Mm -hmm. I thought stereotype. Stereotype, I guess. Stereotype, but that's not a phrase. No, actually, I just can't remember the other thing. It's okay. So we're putting stereotype for ten. What are we saying for nine? Um, letter press, letter presses, letter presses. Yeah. Letter presses. Okay, okay, we did good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we've got anything right. But... I I know we, we got to find out who sleeps on the couch. We made educated. You you do hard hard, Susan. I I, I cooperated. But you folks are so smart. I mean, I, I'm all out as I won't go from room to room with the ones that people knew. That Gail, I agree. These are these are some smart cookies here. And that's why we're on teams. And I like that we mix up our teams all the time. Hi, Brandy. It's nice. They're mixed up so that we, we get to know each other. I think it helps also that we've done this for so many years that we kind of know each other's kind of style of questions and where they're going with it. I think it helps a little. Okay. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. It was fun if you like root canal. Go ahead. Oh, shut <laughs> up. We needed, we needed another 10 minutes to get a reasonable score. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, we, 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 had, more time. we just started over discussing it. I liked it. Okay. No, we all had the same amount of time. And when I saw the timer come up, we had to hustle because we were discussing Some people it. like root canal. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I enjoyed hey, I, my root I canal. Would, thank you. For I, I had a friend who would go to the dentist and never had Novocaine. I, I you know, what did oh, I say? Really? Okay. Right. Bill, Bill Murray Gail? and Steve oh. Martin and uh, you're muted, Gail. Yeah. You're muted, Gail. Not no more. Okay. No, I'm muted. I'm trying to do this so that I can see you as well. And I will tell you, I have a small clip that I have wanted to play. And I think I can't do it without the commercial. I've tried. So if you were if all, you, I can do it. If you'll all forgive me, it's a YouTube. So yeah, it's, it's only a couple of minutes, but I, the commercial keeps coming up. I used to be able to get rid of them, but I don't know how anymore. You well, can't you have, to have prime. You okay. can, but you have to stay ahead of it. You all see the screen now, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Here are the here are the answers to the question. Number one, it's woodblock printing. Oh, they would cut yeah. the wood, and these are examples from that time, and they'd use the whole the block to print. That was the original. Yeah, Janine, I think. Mm -hmm. No, well, Jane and I together. Jane, Jane got stamping, and Jane. I had woodblock. Yeah. Carving. Two, many of you figured out logically because I did oh, tell you they were pretty much in order. But, you know, it's eighth or the ninth, and we picked the eighth. Oh, we're only off by 500 years. Yeah. Plus or minus a century, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, let, let, did anybody get ninth? Yes. That yes. Be, well, that seems to be the standard. We did. I got it exactly, then we'll leave it there. Yeah. And these are actual copies from there. Oh. Number three, was they used other materials, not just wood anymore. They used, and it, if you just said metal, that's fine. They used uh -huh. metal, they used porcelain uh -huh. in some places, um, cork. So whatever, if you just indicated a use of a different material to make them okay. look nice. And this is the part of the reason that I got inspired by this topic, because we're talking about the ninth century and they were using movable type. So the answer to the next one is not movable type, but I know at least one team got it because I saw it. He invented the press. Uh, so he if we said had, had movable type for hundreds of years in Asia. Is it movable type press? Well, this is the press, not the movable uh, type. And, you knew and, it was the press. The movable type was already there. It was. So the I, we said press. movable type printing press, right. like the whole thing. Is that because I mean it is a movable I guess type printing press? Well. You decide. Yeah, if, if you're saying that the movable type was the kind of press, and that's what you meant, yes. So yes. The press moves around. And... Mm. It's the press that was the invention. Mm. The three stooges or... used that to squeeze their heads. Mm -hmm. Question 
five, mm. he died penniless. He didn't. He did. He never saw the achievement. And what I put in this is all quoted from one of my sources. Um, his, his presses were impounded by his creditors, and all of the things had to be taken over by other people. Here is the problem that he had. Everything I said about he had the Bible with the 200 copies was real, but I put in, I changed into red. Gutenberg's invention wasn't profitable until there was a book distribution oh. network. He printed 200 copies of a book in Latin, because the original Bible, Gutenberg Bible was in Latin. The only people who would buy it were people who were first wealthy enough and knew how to read Latin, right? So he didn't have 200 customers. That's interesting. Yeah, I thought that was fascinating. That's why I put it in. Okay. Six, I think many of you knew that one. Benjamin of course. Franklin. Good old Ben. And I heard people talking about this, and I hope you kept it there. Susan, I heard you say this. Yeah, what it was standardized. Sort of standardized, standardized, standardized. When you're printing books and you're printing things and you're putting these things together for the first time, spelling was standardized. Now, part of that standardization, and I, some teams got that, I have put on the bottom um, something called a thorn. Part of that standardization was the spelling itself. That is, that's, and it wasn't, I heard one team talking about the length of the words. Actually, some words got bigger because if the word comb had a B on the end, then the word numb should have a B on the end, right? They use standardized ways of doing things. And since they're printing, everybody started spelling things the same way. Before that, it was whatever you felt like, right? There are 15 ways to spell Shakespeare's name, right? So because Gail, there's no way to know what the right way was. So, Gail, if I just, we just put, it eliminated letters like the long S. Is that enough? That's what I'm about to say. And part of that standardization was that elimination. And that's what I've written down here. One of the things that I am absolutely fascinated by is this letter. There's the various ways of writing that letter. The long S that looks like an S. And this one called a thorn yep. was part of the English alphabet, but it got lost because it didn't fit on the type. So we don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. They sometimes really? still continued using it up to the 18th century, but they had to do special things to use it. And that's part of where it went. And you notice that these versions of the thorn, again, they had lots of versions, looks a lot like a Y. Uh -huh. And the thorn was a letter that made the sound th. So the th? next time you go and you he say th, the one letter makes the sound the ch mm -hmm. sound. So the next time you go and they're to the Renaissance Festival and they have ye old I ice cream shop or whatever, right? <laughs> not ye, it's the because it's the thorn, oh, not a oh. y. It's t h e, thorn e, right? Mm. Interesting. So it's the old ice cream shop, right? Okay. Number mm. eight. I know I heard I heard one team get it. Carl, you had it exactly right. Oh. I think other teams did too. A typeface is the design. So it's called Times New Roman is a typeface. Ariel is a typeface. But once you start putting in the specific characteristics, you say it has it's 12 point and it's bold, then it becomes a font. And basically what we have on the computer where it says font is wrong. They're really typefaces. <laughs> so the way we wrote that, is it good enough? A typeface is what we now call fonts. Fonts are subsets of typefaces. I think that's a that's true right. statement. Yeah. yeah, that's a true statement. You All probably right. should get credit for that's that. That's similar to what we had, yeah. Yeah. Nine? I, I suspect nobody knew that one. Did anybody? It's equivocal sorts. Uh, and the uh, answer uh, can then become out of sorts, or I heard one team get it, or stereotype. Right? That's where the word stereotype comes from. And Ooh. then finally, the bonus, they were purchased instead in order to have the right symbols and letters for the language. Some le some languages, some people saw that they had all the symbols, but also just the letters. Some, like French has almost no Ws. So a sort for, uh, of, of, of letters for a French writer would not have as many Ws. 
because you couldn't reuse them, right? You had to use what you had, and then you had to take it apart for the next thing. Now, I do have a short video if you want to see it, but we don't have to see it because I've given you the answers. Oh, sure. This yeah, is you went you went through the trouble of putting it together. Oh, I love this guy. He's, he's, yes, he's... Rob, Rob Woods is a great thing. Yeah. Oh, let me... What kind of doctor doesn't have an opinion about this? This is the problem. We have to. Where does the commercial fit Rebecca Edgeworth stand? Yeah, you got to get. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, right, you got to get. Uh, it protects your basic rights. Premium uh, YouTube. That's what I have. Fortunately, well, Sharif Wahab is too. I hate, I hate commercials, so I will Oh, come on. Not another one. Productive freedom and abortion. Yeah, before the two should pause it when it's ready. Here we go. Bowman, whose videos about design, fonts, and other typographical themes have provided me with many a geeky thrill. Linus, my favorite typography based YouTuber. Great to have you. <laughs> Thank you very much. High praise. High praise. So there are two things to tackle here. One, the terms we use when we're typing on our modern devices that originate in the physical process of printing. And two, the terms from printing that we use in completely different contexts, often unaware of their roots in the print works. So let's get into both of those with Linus. But I just have a question that I need answering because I think I might have been getting something wrong. So Helvetica, Arial, Times New Roman, Comic Sans, dare we talk about it. Are they fonts or typefaces? Those are typefaces. I've been getting it wrong. Historically speaking, Helvetica would be a typeface, whereas 10 point Helvetica bold would be a font. So that would be a very specific size and style of that family. Well, font family is another way of saying typeface. So that folder on your computer that says font, that should technically say typefaces. I doubt they'll change it now. It goes back to a much earlier time in printing, which was where we started with Gutenberg, which was foundry type. And that was when we printed words on pages using tiny metal stamps. And there was a little piece of metal for each letter. And those were called sorts. And that's where we get the term out of sorts, which we can unpack. We will. In that era, a font would be an entire type case of sorts. And that would be all of the letters, numbers, symbols, and punctuation you would need to set a certain amount of text in your given language. So that was the other thing is that to print a certain amount of German, you would need a different amount of different letters than a certain page of English text, for example, because the frequency at which you use different letters changes by language. Oh, yeah. In French, they almost never use a W, right? So yes. you don't need so many Ws. You definitely... That was it. That was very yeah. interesting. And the Romero shared a video, you guys, that you can look at later. It's Saturday Night Live called Papyrus. 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 It's almost seven minutes, so you should have it. And you can look at it later. That looks really good, too. That was with Ryan Gosling, right? Who? Ryan Gosling. Oh, the guy who played on Barbie. Yeah, it's also yeah. about funds and stuff. I guess he was in some other stuff, but I don't know. All right. Good job, Gail. That was very interesting. That was fun, Gail. Yeah. So far, we've gotten three really that good was, That was cool. Okay, so here we go. Points are... Um, no team name because we can't make decisions today. Four. The cute baby Thai hippo. I think we got eight. Does team agree? Yeah, we got eight. That's what I got. Okay, the rules were that you weren't going to fact check team four. What'd you get, Avi? I think we got eight. Yeah, that's I got, what I got. That's what I got too. Okay, categorize this. We got five. Whoa, we just lost the lead. That's okay. Sorry, Gail. <laughs> Make sure I had something you knew. Okay. Well, Kevin, <laughs> let's see what you do. Hey, today my um category is donate is dedicated to the one you love. Peggy's dog. Oh, he's <laughs> dog. Okay. Okay. You know his name, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, what I want to know is he won't get sick this week, Willie. Yeah. You be careful. 
I got to get my, oh, I got to check that, but I'm not prepared. I'm very yet, fond of George. He is awesome. Okay. Yeah. Let's not say anything about the word George because that's what the category is about. Famous people named George. I got to find my, uh, I got to cut and paste it. There it is. Okay. According to um, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, there are 44 Georges on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I want you to name 10 of them. Now, I can make it harder oh, no. make, by making you name. They have to all have to have a different starting last name, or I could just leave it as is. What do you guys think? Leave it as. Leave, leave it, it as, as is. is. Okay. Starting last name? We okay. do and a lot of like, like, you, like if there was a, 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 a George Zeus and a George Zebra, you only can name one of them. I like oh, yeah. the rules. So no. That's, no, just Brandy, Brandy just uh, muted Kyle because she was like ah. 44 <laughs> Georges who have stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Name 10 of them. Okay, Go to your really rooms. Fun. Okay, that sounds like fun. <laughs> and I need to put Karen in. You're in. Five, four, I mean, the last category. That's where I'm going. I get to see Karen. Okay. Is this right? This one? George the first Harry? one I had. I had George Clooney, too. Uh, George Clooney. George of the Jungle. Uh -huh. oh. Actually, that's possible, because they sometimes put fictional fictional characters on, on there. Hard, though. Um. George. There's 40. Uh, Carlin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got to be up there. George Costanza. <laughs> Burns. George Burns. Oh, George yeah, yeah. Burns, George Burns. Definitely, Burns. yeah. Um, George Papard. George and Gracie. That's oh, George yeah. Papard. 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 Good. What is, what is it? Papard. P E P. George Papard. I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah. A team. Mom, what did you say? Oh, no. He's not... <laughs> what did she say? Oh, I realized I'm muted. I'm Karen's talking... been giving us all the answers. I'm talking into a void. Uh -huh. I, wrote, I wrote George Lucas, George Hamilton, George of the Jungle, George Carlin, and George Papart. George, George Hamilton. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. How about George right. Romero? Who? Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Karen, there's one you're missing. I wrote George Lucas, George Hamilton, George of the Jungle, George Carlin, and George Papard. <laughs> Probably not of the jungle. <laughs> I'll put that on the okay. side if we just run out of things. Um uh Cohan, George Cohan. George M. Cohan, yeah. And uh is it one of the Gershwins, uh George? George, George Gershwin, Gershwin, yeah. Gershwin? What about Gorgeous George? Do they put wrestlers in there? Ooh. If you pay for it, we got so far. What is that? What about George Kennedy? Oh, sure. George Kennedy. Ooh, I like George sure, Kennedy. Kennedy. Sure he's up keep there. in mind, the, the, the fans pay for this. So yeah. yeah. A, a fan base to organize and get a star. Right. right. It's It requires a bunch of money. And I have no idea who George Kennedy is. He's the, from the parliament, right? No, that's Clinton. No. He is a, a veteran well, actor. He, it was an airplane. Many, many things. Airplane. Yeah. Well, yeah. But he was in uh, a lot of stuff long before he was an airplane. What about yeah. George Clinton? Like, yes. Yeah. But, I think he's uh, big enough to have gotten there. Uh, we only need 10, right? Yeah. So what are we going to remove? Um, You know, I'm fine with removing any two of those because I think all 12 of those are in there. I, I don't really care which two we re remove. Um. I'm not as confident that George Gershwin would be because don't usually want to be have to be alive, and I don't know if the no the, no no not necessarily but no uh, you just have to have fans with money yeah I mean I'm not confident that George Gershwin maybe is. okay so I mean we have to take out one so why not I was going to get rid of Clinton. I have no idea who George Romero or George Hamilton is. yeah Clinton's a singer so I don't know if he would have. 
Can uh, George can... Hamilton had the he hung out with Elizabeth Taylor. Has a really dark tan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and among many movies, he probably most regrets being associated with Zorro the Gay Blade. That's right. That's what it was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Back when the word "gay blade" meant something different. Nope. What does "gay blade" mean? Not, not in that sense. No. In, in that movie. Zorro dies and leaves his legacy to one of his two sons, and and he has two twin sons, one of which is the typical swashbuckler, and the other is a homosexual. And when, and a very stereotypically overly effeminate homosexual. Oh, and when, wow. when the swashbuckling son gets injured and can't be Zorro, the other guy stands in for him, and he produces these flamboyant, over the top Zorro costumes. I've never heard of this. He has a purple Zorro hat with tassels on it. Yeah. So it's a comedy. It is a comedy. Uh, yes. It is, <laughs> it is a comedy probably best left in the past nowadays. <laughs> but Phyllis George. I very think <laughs> I just sort of remember. I don't think she would have one. I think we're set. Uh, oh, he was he was also the vampire in Love at First Bite. I don't know. You and Karen, I don't know how you... Yeah, love it. First bite. Susan? Never saw it. Oh, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> but King George the Third. Oh, yeah. Good old King George. He had a lot of fans in the U.S. Yeah, I'm sure he did. And they all drink tea. Yeah. Um. You know, I heard something really, really, really interesting the other day on MSNBC since we've got this. She's the woman was um one of the hosts that's on NBC. NBC. Her name is uh Rachel Maddow. Wallace. Well, no, it was Wallace. So what's her name? Something Wallace. Anyway, she's really great. She's a Republican, but she's really kind of she worked with um McCain, I think, you know. So well, what's you think of her name? I'm, Nicole Wallace, I think is her name. I'm not entirely sure. She's not a Republican anymore. Yeah, but I, she, I have, she was. I have greater confidence on Clinton and Gershon than I do on Lucas. Okay. So she says she was on The View for a while. They put her on The View. And she said she said she had to leave because she didn't know who any of those people were, all the celebrities and stuff. She said, I had no idea who any of those people were. And I thought, that's me. You know, you see these TV shows like uh, Colbert or whatever, and then they've got, and we have tonight so and so on, and everybody's like, "Oh my god!" And it, I'm like, "Who?" There's, no idea. I would um, be there's a, head. there's a um, Nicole Wallace, a YouTube, a YouTube um, uh, series um, where this comedian Tignataro interviews famous people, but she has to figure out who they are. Because she doesn't yeah. know anybody, in any any she does she just doesn't recognize famous people or just no bother. So you see, these very famous people are come on her on her show to be interviewed, and oh, she's asking funny. These questions, and it's just very funny. That would be very funny. I wouldn't be able to tell somebody who was famous from somebody who was just polished. You know, as a as a minor was. note, Romero is R O M E R O. Romero. It's not like our. Think, you our don't think George star. Lucas would beat some of these guys? I, I don't. I don't know that he'd have a star on the wall. Well, there's 44. You guys, they're probably all there. We just have to pick the 10. Just 10. Yeah, like they're already I don't... in the lead. What do you guys got to do? Make sure it's a 10. Well, we're only up by what one? Um, I, yeah, you're only. Up I by one. feel like one, George. Yeah. Lucas would have more, would be more likely than George Gershwin. Well, I'm, I'm, I, either way, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a dictator or anything. Karen, you choose. Only on one, on the day one, Lucas. only on the first day. Lucas, okay, okay. Lucas, it is. Because he's got a lot of fans. So, well, Gershwin was Gershwin, massive. But I mean, most people know him as a composer. Yeah. He's made composed for a lot of dun, 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 movies. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, dun. Um, now I know my Gershwin, so I do know something. Rhapsody in Blue, American in Paris, and all. But which Gershwin do you know, George or Ira? 
We just They're know him. We just know him as George and I Richmond. wrote Richmond. Which one wrote the music and which was the lyricist? Uh, George. His Ira. first name is Georgian. George is the second f- name is Ira. Ira. Famous one. Georgian He's the one that died young. Yeah, it's a George. They're from Georgian Bay. Where? It's in Canada. That's why you would. Oh, it. No, sorry. I'd flunk. I would be off of that TV show too. Uncle I Ron, could never be the, the Tyler what Henry. What is the cat behind you's name? That's Katniss. 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 Like, like Katniss Evergreen. Yes, uh, that's why the other one is Primrose. Uh, yeah, this is your uncle. You should know all these things. I haven't been to his house in how many years? Have I, I, I don't know. Your was sister it, was, was here it once before the COVID, before COVID time. Yeah, your sister was here right before COVID. Where do you live again? New Jersey. Oh, well, that's the not nice, so far. The nice part, not the where world. Rob is. It's so much more expensive to get places within the U.S. than it is to get. Well, I send you a ticket, Avi. He wants you to come there and see. Well, you're going to see him in, in Vegas, so what does it matter? Yep. 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 Good job, guys. I was watching in the cat. room. It looks pretty good. Oh, well, you're really cute tonight, Kevin. Nah. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's George. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Kevin's a very, very good boy. Very good boy. It's, uh, a photo I stole from uh, from Peggy's Facebook page. Okay, uh, just to make it easy, if uh, you had anybody's last name that begins with any of these letters, they are wrong. D I N Q or U through Z. Nobody had those letters in the last name. So if you had any of those, you're going to cross them out. Alphabetically, I'll read them quick and then I'll post them. George Arliss. I heard somebody mention that. George Benson. George Brent. George Burns. George Carlin. George Clinton. George Kukor. I don't know who that is. George M. Cohen. George Eastman. George Fenneman. George Fisher. George George Fitzmaurice. George Goebel. George and Ira Gershwin. Yeah. George Gabby Hayes. Gabby. George Ham- Hamilton. Yeah. George Harrison. George Hicks. George Jessel. Yeah. George yeah. Kennedy. George Lopez. George Marshall. George Meeker. George Melanchirino. Melanchirino. George Montgomery. George yeah. Murphy. George Spanky McFarlane, George O'Brien, George O'Hanlon, George Powell, George Peppard, George Putnam, George A. Romero, George Raft, George Reeves, George E. Stone, George Sanders, George Schlatter, George Seaton, George Siegel. Seagal, George Shearing, George Sidney, George Stevens, and lastly, George Takai. Oh, did you have George Carlin? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No George no Clooney. George huh? Jungle. No George Clooney. Wow. No George S. No George Scott. Someone talked themselves out of it. Or Good Lucas. reasoning. Yeah. Sorry, no George, you were right. No George Lucas. George yeah, Lucas yeah. is not on there. Oh, is he? Is he? I thought he, you said Lucas. No, nope, he's not on there. Whoa, no George Lucas. Now that's what it says on the website. So George unless... Strait. Who? Straight. Uh, nope. No. Not on this according to this list, he's not. I can give you the website too if you want it. I think, I think that George Pepper is George Capard. Capard. Yeah. Capard, yeah. Capard of Banachek and A Team, most notably yeah, as well there. as Breakfast at Tiffany. He's on there, George Papard. I can't believe if we forgot George Decay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Did anybody get him? Yeah. I don't think anybody got him. It's okay. Uh, to not we, yes, we, we did. We got, we got George. We did. did. Okay. Good job. George, My husband guys, was thanks, shouting thanks names. Thanks to Janine's oh, was husband. He, uh, yeah, Johnny he was back prison. there shouting names to me. So there you go. We found a category that he enjoyed. Did he? Yeah. It had nothing to do with the, farm animals. <laughs> nothing to do with farm animals or boats or guns. See, George. Or Downton Abbey. 
Oh, Joe, yeah, John's really into Downton Abbey. I, yeah, I, I he's always Jean, Jean, watching Jean that. He knows it up and down. Hey, I'm concerned because some of these people are still alive as of today. Oh, oh my God. Shit. Uh oh. Okay, Thanks, we're going to be guilty of mass murder. <laughs> 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 well, I am from Massachusetts. So. We we are we are reading we are uh, recording this. So uh, there's a, where I got my source. We're going to be okay. in serious trouble if there's. A... Well, if it's a close score and somebody was added since this thing was printed. Breaking I... news: mass die off of people named George for the inexplicable <laughs> reason. <laughs> I know one who they'll, they'll Forty-four. Mass. They were all they were all just George. <laughs> Forty-four are uh, there. Some of them are dead already. Well, some of them are already dead. Oh, you guys have to be free. Well, those will come back to life and immediately die again. <laughs> <laughs> George. So apparently, uh, the Los Angeles Police Department has a star. How do we know that other last names weren't uh, LAPD ooh. officers named George? Wow. That would get I us would... to forty-five. May forty-five. Um, Never mind. <clears throat> If yeah. the star itself has the word letters George on it, word George on it anywhere, we'll give you the point. Yeah, Cass, if you could find a police officer, I what think, if it's an I think we, should, we should get it. We should all chip in and buy a star for Peggy's dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he's already a star. I'm just looking it up. Apparently, sorry, it's seventy five thousand dollars. Seventy five thousand. Robin's yep. dog is the one that would be most qualified. Oh, Toto. Toto, yeah, <laughs> so cute. Well, the rest, he's probably the only Toto on the Star Walk of Fame, though, so that'll be a tough category. <laughs> All <laughs> right, so it. here we go. Let's Before we do it. scores, do you have people to do trivia? Oh, rounds? Carl, thank you so much. Once I you do scores, people are going to pull the ejection handle left and right. All right, so I have nobody for next week. That will be the tenth. I have Wendy for the seventeenth. I guess you can pencil me in for one. Okay, Carl. Who else? Oh, Rob's putting himself on. No, nobody wants to volunteer because now they can't be on Kyle's team. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you should wait till the end. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It looks like Brandy and Kyle are discussing. They're doing a category. It looked like it to me. Kind of did. All right, yeah, if you need to put somebody down, you can put Kyle. me down. Okay, Carl and oh, Kyle. Oh my god. Well, that way, that no. way it doesn't matter. She gets us confused. All that matters is we go in a different order. <laughs> I need I, a bonus. I think Karen should do one. So we're I was gonna say the if Carl, uh, there should be Karen and Kevin should also do a round. Yeah, 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 yeah maybe yeah, stay yeah, with the yeah, K's. Yeah. I, I could do one, but I would, I don't want to do a bonus. Okay, so you could do well, a that's okay. you did a bonus tonight, you do a regular next week. Okay, bonus. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do a bonus though. Kevin and Karen, if we can Come get on, Karen. Come on, Karen. Karen do a bonus. Make it, make it a hey, full I know. I'll say I'll do a bonus and then I'll totally forget about it and just <laughs> oh, make it up on man. the spot. It worked well, last time. Brilliant. It worked great it was, last time. It was very good. Brilliant. That might be the way to do it. We got a team. It's all case. Karen will shoot from the hip. Wow. That might be the way to do it every week. Just That'll get her back in jail present. again. You're doing the bonus tonight. <laughs> the KKK K. Yeah, that's not good. We had to have Karen in there to make it so it's not KKK okay, okay, plus one. God, you're awful. All right, <laughs> scores. You guys are impossible. All right, we work at it. <laughs> <laughs> four four years of it. You guys got really good at it. All right, no team name because we can't make decisions today. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I got to count. Eight. One, two, three, I four, five, six. We got seven. No, I think we got eight. Which do you think we got? I got Burns, Carlin, Burns, Hamilton, Carlin. Harrison, Lopez, Seagull, and, and Takai. Takai and Lopez. I said that one. Burns, Carlin, Hamilton, Harrison, Lopez, Seagull, and Takai. Takai. I counted seven eight. also. Okay. okay, I had Burns, Carlin, <laughs> Hamilton, Harrison, Takai, Siegel, and Lopez. One, yeah. two, three, That's four, seven. five, six. That's seven. Oh, I can't count. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was wise of them to say not to make any decisions today. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. You're, you're yeah don't trust me. me. Don't All trust right. me. 
The cute baby Thai hippo looks like a sourdough loaf. That's because his parents were bred in captivity. I had to say that one more time. <laughs> I think we got seven, two. 72. 72. I like 72 better. That's a hell of a score. All right. Categorize this. We got a seven as well. Wow. Wow. All right. The rules were that you weren't going to fact check team number four. Uh, I read eight. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. That was done on the Georges. You look at that. Last place. Woohoo. And the baby time group <laughs> messed it up by getting an even number. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll do better well. next time, but of course it won't be the same team next time, which is what's fun <laughs> about it. All right. Good job, everybody. Mm -hmm. Um that's it. You can go now. Wait, wait, wait. Turn the recording tight. off so we can talk to Karen. Oh, yeah. Only if Karen wants to talk. Oh, yeah. Karen, do you want to talk? If Unless she's been advised